Hello there, thank you so much for tuning in to my Tuesday morning haul video. I stopped by Tuesday morning recently and picked up some things that I thought I would share with you. So I got this raw charm for my niece. She, it's her birthday, she's turning 17, so I picked up a lot of these supplies and things for her. Including this texture paint. She's also an artist, so I got this beautiful metallic texture paste by Hyde Swap. And I believe it's typically used for mixed media, but she does acrylic work, so I think she can mix this in with that. I've also considered picking up some for myself to use on the dolls. And then I also got her this metallic acrylic paint. This is kind of just a generic student grade brand, but it came with these three or four really pretty metallic colors, so I thought she would like to give those a try. And then I got her these cute little stretched canvases. They're just like a, a raw canvas looking fabric so that she can cover them up with gesso or she could just do a little picture on it and leave the raw edges. And I'm super excited about this glass glitter. I plan to use it for the Blythe eyes that I make using resin. Maybe I'll do a video on that sometime. And I believe the sixth color that you can't see is like a silver color. The others are gold and copper, bronze, black, and clear. And then I couldn't resist getting myself one of these as well as my niece. It's this beautiful buttery gold texture paste. I believe it's like modeling paste, but it seems like it would just go on really creamy and smooth and glossy. So I'll probably use mine within some mixed media or with uh, somehow incorporate it into my doll eyes or, or the dolls themselves. And uh, I'm sure my niece will use it on her canvases. I'm also very excited about these adorable little envelopes and I plan to use them to include with my dolls and fill them with little extras that I include like a free gift and my business card and some coupons and just any other goodies I have on hand. It has a little string attachment it's just a plain black envelope. And then I got this uh, raw colored, uh, rainbow colored jute string, I believe it is, or like a hemp twine. I thought it was really pretty in all of these beautiful colors, they're earthy shades. I'm looking forward to using those on some of my costumes. And then I got this uh, embossing, or er what do you call it? It's a for like a uh, cutting machine or it's not a cricket. I'm losing my <laughs> I'm losing my words, but it's one of those cutting machines that I have and it also embosses at the same time. And this one was such a pretty decoration. These really cute butterflies. I thought if it would work with vinyl or fabric that I could make it use it for a costume. And then I was just completely sold on the colors of this little enamel dot pack. I usually make my own enamel dots with either beads or some little uh, bottles of uh, enamel paste, but these are just, I was totally sold with the size, shape, and colors. So I couldn't resist. I use these on the costumes that I make as well. And look at these, these are so cool. I've seen them before and I've always wanted them, but these were in the clearance at Tuesday morning, so I picked up a pack. And there are five little brooches. And one of them is, the male one is a female, 
and the as you can see they're skeletons so they're super spooky great for Halloween I'm going to just do my best to incorporate these they're a little large but I'm gonna do my best to see if I could use them on a costume for one of the dolls they're they seem to be like a, a metal so I believe they're pretty sturdy love those and then I got another pack of those envelopes because I love them so much. And then I picked up these two sets of paintbrushes for my niece to use with her canvas art. They're that same student grade brand, Premio. And I've, I've used these paintbrushes before, this, this brand, and they're really good. They don't lose a lot of the fibers and they, they seem to work pretty well. And there's a lot of variety to those packs, so I just had to get a couple. And then lastly, I got her these two canvases, and I hope she does some good, beautiful work with them. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this whole video. If you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you would do so. And thank you for watching and following. Have a great day. Bye.